I have never, ever in my life with my hand to Jesus Christ, and y'all know how I feel about my Lord and Savior, never in my life, ever, not even once, sniffed coke. These days, it seems like a celebrity cannot sneeze, sniffle, or even scratch their nose on camera without fans accusing them of being on hard drugs like cocaine. Last year, City Girls JT was accused of being a user after fans claimed that in a live, she went off camera to play with her nose. I'm just playing, babe. <laughs> it's gonna take for a to knock your teeth out one time. I'm just playing, babe. Mm-mm, nobody ain't knocking my mother teeth out. They don't even say that. Nobody ain't knocking my mother teeth out. They don't even say that. JT quickly cleared up those rumors, denying it, saying her mom was an addict and she wouldn't do that. And why would she do that 1967 drug anyway? Y'all got me f***ed up. Uh, all the drugs are wrong. Y'all think, all these new, new drugs out here, y'all think I'm gonna go to a mother drug from 1967, bitch. Stop playing with me. So wait, if I wanna read comments, I can't lean in, I need to grab my phone and scroll down. I ain't even doing it. Cause then y'all gonna make up something else. The other half of the City Girls, Young Miami's boyfriend, 808 Southside, is also one of the accused. You can't get him off the phone, crazy. Yeah. And I'm down 20 pounds right now, I gotta get down 10 more. Not to mention Chris Brown. But Chris has not done much to clear these rumors up. In fact, he has only added more fuel to the fire by getting this chain made last year. This just made the rumors seem more true. Good morning, it's Jess with the mess and my news is real. Chris Brown buys a crack chain. Oh my God. He later explained the reason being is that he was in rehab the time. He bought a crack chain. The difference between the others and Nicki Minaj are the rumors about her drug use were fueled by people in the industry. Yes, we need an intervention on Miss Nicki Minaj, that sniffling, mm -mm, I'm not buying that you, I'm not buying that. Crying, emotional, like, mm-mm, sis. And I know from experience, okay? I know from experience, sis. That was very inappropriate. Very DPS. That was very BCW, ACS, like, no, remove the child from the home. That was, that was very inappropriate. Ever since Remy Ma dropped this diss record against Nicki Minaj in 2017 called Sheether, Nicki Minaj has been working to clean up her image and dispel all disrespectful things Remy Ma has said about her in that song. In Sheether, Remy Ma accused Nicki of being a drug addict, specifically a coke addict. Coke you cheated on your man with Ebro. I might leak the footage of you sleeping in ski smokes. They gassing you up, but you been on E though. Pills and potions, yup, you been on E. Got your the other night, Nicki Minaj went live for the first time in like five months. In the live, she can be heard sniffling and seeing wiping her nose. You know, a lot of people have done that and I've never done it. So for the first time ever on streaming services. There might be like two or three songs that didn't make the um, but. At one point she acknowledges it, saying that the reason she was all stuffy is because she had been crying before the live. Y'all yeah. my snot is coming down because right before I got on live, I got a really, a really beautiful surprise that I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you guys about it, but it was so sweet. I just couldn't stop crying. So after I did my makeup, I had to redo a little bit under my eyes and my nose because someone that I love so much um, sent me the most sentimental, meaningful, beautiful, thing card and flowers and stuff like that but when i read the cards i just i it made me super super emotional but um so how can i call champagne poppy but either way people in the comments started accusing her of doing booger sugar anyway the next day while getting her hair done by arrogant tay Nicki minaj jumped on the lives to clear her name yeah, yeah so the topic of the day is me sniffling. Now, 
if you're smart, you would know if you're a fan of mine that all you got to do if you want to know my drug of choice or my drugs of choice, just listen to my music channel. Because it's all right there. So as I'm sitting in my beauty room and it's cold again, because it was just warm, because I had the heat on, and I put my, um, but I had to take the heat off because it was time to start getting my hair curled. And I saw people saying that. Can I just say something? I don't know, hey, Em, I don't know if it's just me, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed about any fucking drug I did. I want to make this clear. So open everybody's ears, listen to your, clean them ears out. I have never, ever in my life with my hand to Jesus Christ, and y'all know how I feel about my Lord and Savior, never in my life, ever, not even once, sniffed Coke. Ever. Since I, since I was a kid, I, I get cold. Like, and, and uh, when I used to wear contacts, that would, that would trigger my allergies. I'm always just colder than everyone else. I asked the doctor, was I anemic? He said, um, he said, no, your, your natural body temperature is just lower than the average person. So that means, <laughs> somebody said perks only. <laughs> yeah, okay, because I mean, <laughs> And it ain't hi, Lady Luck. It have it hasn't been perks only, but Lady Luck. It have it hasn't been perks only, but if I ever did coke at any time in my life, I would have been rapping about it. I do take Allegra every day, and also I have to take Allegra now sometimes twice a day. But if I was crying or if I was just blowing my nose or if I was cold, this, this, this is me all day. Runny, sniffy, sniffly all the time. So, um, yes, I have put raps in my, like I've said lyrics like keep the snow white, I could buy it by the bundle. Uh, I'm talking about weight. In fact, I've only ever even seen Coke and bricks but when I talk about what I actually do and <laughs> I say popping them things to go up and smoking and smoking Los Angeles bud I say shit like that because that's what the f I'm actually doing <laughs> and if I was to by the way by the way I know a lot of I have a lot of friends or acquaintances acquaintances in the industry that actually do coke I don't judge them for it, but I've never tried it, never wanted to, never asked them to, especially in the fashion world. That's so common and normal. Um, but yes. In 2019, Nicki Minaj got into a heated argument with Joe Budden on her Apple Music show, Queen Radio, after Joe accused her of being an addict on his podcast. Now, for legal reasons, I can't share with you the video of Joe Budden on his podcast, but I can give you a summary of what he said that made Nicki Minaj go off. Back then, Nicki Minaj posted a video of herself opening a present, which was a Chanel bag gifted to her by the Migos rapper Quavo. Joe Button said that this was confirmation that Nicki Minaj was on drugs. 
He talked about Nicki Minaj inboxing this girl and cussing her out for saying that Nicki was almost 40 and she needed to make more mature music. The girl put out the screenshots of what Nicki Minaj wrote her and it has been rumored that the girl had been interning for someone that Nicki Minaj knew, i.e. Karen Civil. And she lost her job because of what happened with Nicki. Because of this, Joe Button said that Nicki Minaj was on drugs bad, saying, quote, let's all try to guess the drugs that Nicki Minaj is on, adding that she was getting progressively worse with her habit. Nicki Minaj was not here for Joe Button and his accusations, so she brought Joe Button on Queen Radio. They yelled and argued but could not come to an agreement. And I've been checked out of this shit. <laughs> Why you checked out, Joe? But you're not talking about nothing. You know what, Joe? I never realized how childish you were until today. Nick, don't know How you gonna say, say how you gonna you know say I, I ain't talking about nothing you just not. because you got caught in a couple lies? You not saying I, I'm, I, I need you to rise above and today. I, that's what I need you to rise above. I need you to rise above and speak truth. Speak truth first. Ask you a direct question. If you, you know what? If you asked me something where you thought I had lied or misled the public about something about you, and I, and it turned out to not be true, I would say, damn, if I did that, even unknowingly, I apologize mm -hmm. because I'm on a platform that can really hurt you or hurt your image, and I lied about you several times, and it's. A proven lie. So I would say, you know what, whoever it is, whether it was you or anybody, mm -hmm. out of respect, I apologize. Huh? Well, since he's maybe not speaking, I'll say to the drug use thing, on some of your personal records, you've made reference to a few Every, of those and, and what rapper hasn't? Course, no, no, I'm not And this is not that even whether or not you do or don't. Album did it, do, it doesn't, it's not a matter if you do or you don't that. do drugs. Why it's a matter of people, you, certain talk, people being called out about it. past is littered with it. Nicki Minaj ended up turning off Joe Button's microphone. Who gives a f what she popped? But don't sit here and say you ain't popped a fucking pill. I never said you that. An apple. I never you said that you dumb. I, I never said don't that do you that. dumb. Don't do that. Again, yeah. you, are you that fucking dumb? Are you that fucking dumb? You ain't hear what the fuck I said? You asked. Cut me. his fucking mic. Since he want to be fucking dumb. Now you want to be fucking dumb. Again. Now you want to be fucking dumb. Stupid ass. Damn, I didn't think it was. I didn't want to go that. Yeah, way. I, I, that is wrong with you? Anybody play it black? Play, play it back. Did I say that? No. Say what exactly? Everyone was yelling. I didn't, wrong with you? <laughs> she never Everyone said she didn't do it. Exactly. Okay. I've never okay. said that in my okay. life. Got you. Got you. Got you. So what the f is this looking talking about? He he think that he's and he's he he's so used to thinking he's the smartest person in the fucking room. And not allowing people to speak, and then when you find that you're wrong about some shit, not saying, "Damn, I was wrong." I, I, you know, maybe, maybe I, I did the most. Maybe I, you know, jumped out the window. Maybe I, I did cause people to think or certain negative things about you, or maybe I did say things about you that were proven wrong. Mm. Forget drugs. I just gave you two examples where you said something that was not true about me, and you still riding with it. Nikki later came to his show, and they argued more. In a recent live, Nicki Minaj also admitted to getting butt shots. I ain't never lied about my ass shots. I was the first, uh, first in the game. That wasn't lying about my motherfucking ass shots. Okay. Remember guys, keep your nose off that pepper. 